Okay, here's a couple pointers when you're using the pegs to tune. You should try to use the fine tuners, except if they get tuned down really low. Like, see, this one is kind of getting pretty low. And you should always watch under here, because if they get too low, sometimes they can start to stick out under your tailpiece. And if they're under your tailpiece, they might scratch the top of your violin. So if you get to where they're too low and you can barely turn them anymore, then turn them the opposite way, loosen it. Like, I'm going to do this with this A-string one. So I'm going to completely loosen it, and then it's going to make this, it's going to make this A string like way too flat. But then we're, you want to loosen it all the way to the point that the, it starts to get loose. But if you hear it dangling like that, then it's too loose because then it's going to buzz on your violin. So you don't want to like lose the connection with the thread. Okay. So then when you get it that loose, then you're going to have to use the peg. And now it's like way too low. So I suggest, instead of doing it up here on your shoulder, I suggest putting the instrument, it's better if you're sitting in a chair, but I'm gonna have my leg, I'll actually do this right now on the chair. I'm going to, because it's a little easier if you can kind of prop it. So you're gonna take the instrument, make it face you. You're gonna put it up on your leg, like this. And then you're gonna take your right hand, and you're gonna pluck the string. You can put a tuner on. Or you could have the line, but you could have it. Okay, so I hear that it's way too low. I'll turn this off for a second. I'm just gonna put the tuning note on for right now, or the tuner. So make sure you're doing the correct peg. How you can tell is if you're not sure, follow the string all the way up into the pegboard of the peg box and make sure you're doing the right peg. This A string peg happens to be on the right side. So I've got it on my knee. I'm gonna take my hand on the right side. I'm gonna turn this. Turning away from you makes it tighter and turning it towards you makes it looser. So you have to make sure I want it to go higher because I know that it's way low. Now, here's the thing is your pegs are only staying in the peg box by sort of the pressure. They're kind of jammed in there. So you have to, you have to push it in a little bit, just a little bit as you're turning it. If not, it might just completely snap and go loose. So what you want to do is, if the peg's on the right side, you're going to take your hand and put it on the left side, the opposite. I would pluck it a little bit, and then I'd turn it just a little bit, and then I'd pluck it again, you know, and I'd turn my tuner on or whatever. Okay, it's still too low. I only turned it about a half a turn. Don't turn, don't go turning it like a lot because otherwise it'll really break your string. Okay, I still need to go higher. So I'm supporting with this hand so, so that I can push in an opposite direction and the violin's still on my leg. Okay, now I have it too high and I didn't even turn it a quarter that time. So now I'm gonna come back a little bit. And if, you, if you're always, Pushing it in a little bit as you turn it, it will stay stuck in there. Otherwise, it's going to come loose and it's going to come out and the string's going to pop. So then you can get it pretty close and use your fine tuner. I mean, if you're using, that was with a right peg. If I did G, another thing that's sort of good is if you're not sure it's better to go a little turn it down a little bit this is the other technique is if you can hear it by your ear you can pluck the two of them together hold you hear that when I plucked it the ringing if you can't tell by ear I wouldn't do that I would just have a tuner on but see how I'm always holding on the opposite side Anyways, it's not perfect, but I'll fix that in a second. If you're using this, and you're trying to do the pegs this way, and you're trying to do two strings at once, what you have to do is you have to, if you're doing the G or the D peg, so the pegs that are on the left side, you have to put your pinky on the other side. See, I loosened it with my pointer and my thumb. And I got my pinky on this side. See that? You need the counterpoint.
pressure, it's like you're grabbing against. So I have these two here. If you're on a peg on this side, you're on the A peg. I got my second finger and my thumb on it, and then I have my pointer finger over here. You always have to have a finger on the other side. It's going to be thumb and either your first or second finger. And then you got to get a finger over to this side. I would say for G and D, you're going to use thumb and first finger and then pinky. For A and E, you're going to use thumb and second finger and then put your first finger over there. See that? You have to have one finger on the other side or it's not going to work. 